Hi everyone, this is Jom from Civil Center. Welcome to our channel. As we know, Civil Center is continuously working with the vision to guide civil engineering students and professionals. And for that, we keep making videos on different software and on different topics related to civil engineering field. So we have started a series in which we are going to cover all the questions related to the interview in which civil engineering students get stuck. So, Today, our topic is precast concrete. So, let's understand what is precast concrete. Precast concrete is produced by casting concrete in reusable molds or by using highly advanced machinery, then cured in a controlled environment, transported to the construction site, and lifted into place. So, you can see we have three images over here. So, one is for the plant. So, here we have to cast the concrete. So we don't just go to the site and cast the concrete over there. We have these plants where we cast the concrete in a controlled environment. Second, you can see we have this image in which we are transporting these pre-casted slabs to the site. And here you can see in the middle image that these pre-cast slabs or wall panels are being assembled so that we can create a building or construct a building. So what are the advantages of precast concrete? So we already know that the precast concrete is something that we have to cast in the plant. So speed of reduction is rapid. Okay, so we have all the structural members casted beforehand, then we will transport it to the site and we have to simply do the erection work. So the speed of erection is fast over here. Now let's go to the second advantage. So good quality control. Here since we are casting the concrete in the plant and it is properly cured and closely monitored by the plant employees. So the quality of concrete is excellent over here. The third advantage of this is pre-stressing is easily done which can reduce the size and number of structural members. Since we are doing the pre-stressing in the concrete, so the number of the structural members will be reduced. Fourth, the material benefits. Now that it is a, a casted in a controlled environment and being monitored by the plant employees, so the material is not wasted over here. So it also helps you to save the material. Fifth advantage is reducing form of cost. Now, since it is casted in the plant, so you don't have to go for the form work on site. So you don't have to uh, like uh, rent the form work and do the construction over here. So it is saving your form work cost. Sixth point is it is durable because the strength of the concrete is being tested before it is dispatched from the plant. So it is having the more strength and it is durable. Seventh advantage is less manpower required. Now that all the structural members are ready and all we have to do is to do the erection work. So we don't require that much manpower as we have to go for the construction of a building with cast in situ concrete. Okay. Then the eighth point is it is economical because the manpower is less required over here and the form work cost is being saved. So it is economical to construct a building with recast concrete. Now the ninth advantage is weather won't affect the working activity much. So if you are working with a cast in situ concrete and you are being disturbed by the weather, then your project may be delayed. But since all these concretes are being casted in the plant, so weather don't affect your working activity. So the chances of completion of the project on time is great now the 10th advantage is it will reduce the maintenance cost since everything is prefabricated or you can say everything is precasted so you don't need to spend extra cost on the maintenance so it will help you to reduce the maintenance cost now that we have already understood what is precast concrete and what are its advantages let's see the difference of the precast concrete and the cast in situ concrete so concrete is poured in reusable molds cured in a controlled environment in case of precast concrete. 
However, in case of cast in situ concrete, form work is made at site and the liquid concrete is poured in the form work and cured. I think this point is clear. Now, the second point, concrete casted and cured at plant. But in case of cast in situ concrete, concrete is casted at site and cured at site. That means you have to cast the concrete on the site and it should be cured on the site. The third difference is, in case of precast concrete, quality can be controlled and maintained easily. However, in case of cast in situ concrete, quality is concerned with the workmanship. That means, in case of cast in situ concrete, uh, whatever kind of uh, labors or the masons you have, that will determine the quality of concrete. The fourth difference is, in case of precast concrete, less number of labors are required because all you have to do is to do the erection on site. However, in case of cast in situ concrete, more number of labors will be required. Our fifth difference is less time will be required on site construction and in case of cast in situ concrete, more time will be required on site construction. So guys, that was all from my side. If you are having any particular topic in your mind, the video then simply suggest the topic in the comment box and we are going to make a video on that if you like this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe